Welcome to WDD's Hotspot. I'm Mike Luciano, Associate Editor, and in this week's episode, the machine that's helping paramedics save lives, the Navy vessel that sends text messages via shipboard signal lamps, and the battery-powered mug that boils water without a flame. CPR is a life-saving skill over 12 million Americans learn annually. It's an essential skill that paramedics, rescue workers, and law enforcement need to apply on a regular basis, which sometimes determines whether a patient winds up surviving their ordeal. A portable battery-operated machine called the Auto Pulse is capable of performing CPR on the fly and can continue chest compressions without stopping during physical transportation. In addition to mitigating the impact of rescuer fatigue, the device is designed to support the motions required to perform CPR. The machine's flat foundation is a specifically designed board that delivers stability and maneuverability capable of supporting the patient and rescuers as they move from the scene of the emergency to the hospital. Depending on the situation, rescuers have the option of securing the auto pulse board onto a soft stretcher or backboard, which wouldn't make rescuers have to worry about pausing or potentially compromising CPR through tilts and turns. Regardless of whether they're being transported or maneuvered up and down stairs, around sharp corners, or cramped inside an elevator, patients receive non-stop CPR in the form of high-quality compressions. The autopulse can be applied in as little as 14 seconds with regular training and the median time of overall interruption CPR during patient movement from the scene to an ambulance has been reduced by 85% when compared to moving patients that have manual CPR being performed. An interesting demo recently took place at Virginia's Naval Station Norfolk. Engineers showcased a flashing light to text converter. This setup is a ship to ship communication system that enables U.S. Navy vessels to send messages with their signal lamps. The USS Stout beamed its lights to the USS Monterey, located 250 feet away. The USS Monterey used a GoPro camera to receive the incoming Morse code message, which was converted into words on a handheld device. The signaling boat was instructed to just send something random to test the communication system. In a clever fashion, the actual word random popped up on the display screen. The device uses specialized algorithms to process the light flashes into high frequency signals. Once a message is received and converted into a word, a sailor can easily reply. The reply message is sent back as Morse code via LED lights that automatically flash. Sponsored by the Office of Naval Research's Tech Solutions Program, more prototype devices are on the way to undergo further tests. And the development team hopes to see the system issued throughout the fleet next year. Planning on camping this fall? Well, now you can have boiling water at your fingertips, no flame required. A St. Louis-based team has an alternative solution in the form of Cauldron, a battery-powered mug. The secret to the cauldron's on-the-go heating capability is the fry heating element, which attaches to the base of a vacuum-insulated bottle and can be set to four different temperatures – hot, extra hot, brew, and boil. But that's not all. It only takes about 18 minutes to turn ice blocks into boiling water. In addition to the cauldron is the Fry Mobile Mug, which is powered by a rechargeable battery good for two full boils, although it can also be powered using a DC wall plug. Pledging $50 on Indiegogo is enough to reserve a cauldron with no battery while the Fry Mobile sits at the $100 pledge level. Deliveries are set to take place in October of this year. That's all for this week's episode. Be sure to check in on Facebook and Twitter and catch past episodes at wirelessdesignmag.com. For the WDD channel, I'm Janine Mooney. Thanks for watching.